Today's lesson is the third and final lesson on circles and we're going to be completing some calculations using pi which you found out about last lesson and we found out that whenever you divide the circumference of a circle by its diameter you get the value pi which is 3.141 and so on. Now before we get on to completing calculations I just want to remind you remind ourselves of the two parts of a circle that we know about already. We know about the outside or the perimeter being the circumference and we know that the straight line that goes from one part of the circumference to the other through the center point which is really important is the diameter. Now for today's lesson we're going to need to know a third part of a circle which is the radius and a radius of a circle is a line that goes from the center point to the edge of the circle or to the circumference of the circle so this little line here is the radius now a fact that will come in handy a little bit later on which I mention now is that the diameter is always going to be double the radius. Hopefully you can see that a diameter is made up of two radiuses that are joined together. There's a radius there and a radius there. So if you have the value of the radius then you can double it to get the diameter or if you've been given the diameter you can half it to find out what the radius is. Okay now there are two formulas which I asked you to write down last lesson which hopefully you've got which is that the circumference you can work out by doing pi times diameter and you can also calculate the area of a circle by doing pi times r squared or pi times radius squared and these are the two formulas that you're going to need for today's lesson and a lot of time uh, in a lot of lessons in, uh, in your maths lessons over the next few years. So it's really important you remember these two formulas. Now I'm just going to do three examples of um, questions for this lesson. So if I get rid of this, then I can put my examples down here. So the first example asks me to calculate the area of this circle. Now I've been given a circle and the radius is six centimeters. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the formula that I need. And if I'm looking for an area, I'm going to write down the formula area equals pi times radius squared. Now all I need to do is substitute in my value for r or the radius, which I'm told is six centimeters. So the area is pi times 6 squared. Now we know what 6 squared is. 6 times 6 is 36. So I could rewrite this as area equals pi times 36. Now what I'm going to need next is a calculator because as we talked about last <coughs> lesson, pi is actually 3.14 one and so on it goes on for ages and ages and ages so i'm not going to be able to do that in my head so if you find uh, if you get yourself a calculator there will be a pi button on there somewhere if it's a scientific calculator now normally they're down the bottom here if you see this times 10 button pi is actually a little symbol in yellow just next to it yours might look slightly different to mine but my pi symbol is just here next to the times 10 button. So what I need to do and what you're likely going to need to do as well is press the shift button first and then click the, the, the button where pi is. So I've gone shift and then this times 10 button with the pi symbol next to it and I've got the pi symbol pop up on my screen. So there's pi and I'm going to do times by 36 because that's what I want equals 
Now it's come up as 36 pi, so if I press the S to D button, which you'll find normally around here on your calculator, it will turn it from the pi symbol into a number. And it says that the area is 113.0973 and so on. Now if I rounded that, let's round it to one decimal place, I'm going to get 113 point one centimeters squared and that centimeter squared is really important because it's an area so my units are in centimeters so the area will be in centimeters squared and this is the answer for example one the area is 113.1 centimeters squared and i should say that that is to one decimal place okay um second example asks me to calculate the circumference so the first things first, I'm going to write down the formula that involves the circumference, which is circumference equals pi times d, pi times diameter. So my circumference is pi times, well the diameter I'm told is 22 millimetres, so pi times 22. So I'm already at a point now where I can start typing this into my calculator. So I need to do the shift pi button, or the shift and then the button next to the pi symbol first, times 22 equals, as I said last time, I've got 20, I've, I've got the little pi symbol in my answer, but I don't want that, I want the number. So I'm going to press S to D, and I get a number, so the circumference is 69.1150 and so on and I'm going to round it to finish off my answer so to one decimal place the circumference is 69.1 milli millimeters millimeters I was going to say millimeters squared but it's not now it's probably tempting to put millimetres squared because that's what I put, I put squared on the first answer. But we're not looking at an area this time, we're looking for the circumference, which is this length around the outside of my circle. So it's not an area, it's a length. So that means I just leave it as millimetres, I don't need to put millimetres squared because it's a length and not an area. Okay, final example I'm going to do, and then I'll let you get on with some questions. And it asks me to calculate the area of this semicircle. Well, I've got a semicircle here, it asks me to calculate the area. So the first thing first, my area formula is pi times r squared. But hopefully you've spotted that that wouldn't give me the area of a semicircle, because I haven't got a full circle here, I've only got half a circle. So at the end of my formula I will need to divide by 2. I need to have the area of a full circle and then divide it by 2 because I've only got a semicircle or half of a circle. Okay, now I need the radius. So there's a lot going on in this question. I need the radius but I've been given the length of the diameter or the distance all the way across. So if I wanted to work out what the radius is, which is from the centre point to the edge of the circle, hopefully you remember me saying earlier that I'm going to need to half the 10 to give me 5. So the radius is 5 centimetres. And now I can substitute into this formula. So pi times 5 squared divided by 2 which is the same as saying pi times 25 divided by 2. 5 times 5 is 25. So my area, I'm going to start putting into a calculator now, is pi times 25 divided by 2 equals S to D button 39.269 and so on. So if I round it, my area is going to be 39. 3 centimetres squared because it's an area so I put centimetres squared and that's to one decimal place. 
hopefully that all made sense now for today's lesson you've been given a worksheet which has three sections on it one on circumference one on area of circles and one section which is has questions like this semicircles and quarter circles so that's a bit of an extension so hopefully you will get onto it but don't worry if you don't remember you should be spending around 40 minutes of doing maths this lesson so if you hit 40 minutes stop wherever you get to mark your work with the solutions that are on google classroom and then upload a photo so your teacher can see how you got on